Let's talk just a little bit about mortar and uh, both what's available and, and also batching proportions. As you know, as a contractor, there's just a, an endless variety of colors uh, in mortar nowadays. And it's so nice, you can take one brick, change the mortar color, and have a totally different look on the home uh, that sort of picks up on some of the other accent colors that you might have on that particular house. So as far as uh, availability of colors and, and choices in color ranges, it's almost unlimited. But just for a minute about mixing proportions, uh, your mason should know this, but always keep in mind that a sack of mortar is one cubic foot. Whether it's a type N mortar, a type S mortar, whatever strength mortar it might be, a bag is a cubic foot. The proper batching proportions is about three to one with the sand and mortar. Sand being the, the larger volume. So three parts sand to one part mortar. With a veneer such as we've been working on here today, our suggestion would be to just use a type N mortar. It has enough strength, but at the same time, it's so workable for the mason to use that he gets it everywhere it should be. Nice full head joints are easy to throw. It spreads and works easily. It doesn't set up quite so fast in the sun. And, and so the workability of a type N is very important to the mason. Really, with a veneer, you're not looking for strength anyway. It doesn't carry the live and dead loads of the home. If you have load-bearing masonry, then you do have to bump up a bit in strength to a type S uh, for retaining walls or block work or even brickwork if it's supporting loads. But for veneer, a type N masonry mixed three parts sand to one part mortar will do the job.